a few words about rotational inertia. When doing this experiment, you want to take this assembly and slide it out here to the edge of the table so that your masses are free to draw, drop um, down towards the floor. Another important thing to understand, I'm going to turn this system a little bit so we can see it, is this brake assembly right here. Right now the brake is engaged and I'm simply going to, um, to put a mass on the end of the string. That, that allows for a, a constant tension. I'm going to release the brake and then I'm going to just simply wind this up backwards. See? So now my system is ready to take data. I want to make sure that this mass is not swinging. Now when I'm ready to take data, I'm going to utilize this brake assembly. This brake system is spring-loaded inside here. And there's, there's a post that goes through on both sides into this little um, slot on either side. And so the idea is to pull out this post and then turn it clockwise. 90 degrees and that will release the brake and lock the brake in the outward position. It will lock it in the, un the released position. So as I pull this out and rotate it clockwise, the brake is not being applied and the system is free to just swing. So I like to just bring it back up until the mass. We're always um, winding up the string at the same place. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I'm going to do another clockwise rotation and the spring pops the brake back into place. Each time you take off a mass or add a mass, whichever, you're going to mass the whole system that's dropping on the mass balance. When you're finding the dimensions of the wheel, it's a good idea to take the wheel off, just unscrew this enough that the axle is removed and then you can carefully lift this wheel off. Place it gently on the digital mass balance, please. If you plop it on there, it's going to break the sensor inside here. So just gently place it on. When measuring the diameter, or the, the width, rather, of the big wheel, you can do this. Now this one, you can't measure that way. Okay, and so when this system is off, you're going to use the plunger mode. Because as the vernier opens up, the plunger extends by the same amount. See that? And so you're just going to plunge this, this, um, the small hub here. Okay, but again, it's easier to do when it's off because this edge of the vernier can actually sit right here on the hub. Okay. There's some ideas for helping you measure things and perform the procedure correctly for rotational inertia.